Hello again everyone, this is Randy, your sewing machine man, and this is video number 100, and I couldn't figure out what to put on video 100, because that's kind of a milestone, but lo and behold, look what we found, a Janome HD 1000BE, and I've had a lot of requests from folks, get a hold of one of these and review it. Well, here it is, and... The clever part about the HD is that that stands for heavy duty. They don't have it written on here like some of the other ones do, but uh, all the promotion and all the ads online from Amazon and Home Depot and oh my gosh, uh, uh, Joanne's everybody has these and they talk about them being this and that and comparable to the old machines. Well, anything's comparable to anything. Uh, a tree is comparable to a bush, which is comparable to a toothpick. I mean, everything's comparable. So they use this kind of language and my favorite is when I use the uh, all metal construction. Well, you know, that gets me going because it's not all metal construction. They just can't say, which I prefer they would say, it's a nice little machine. You know, it's good, has good utility value. It's very strong. It's got a nice motor. Makes a nice stitch. You know, when, when does that ever come into the sales pitch? Well, here it is. It's a nice little machine. Performs well, has a nice reverse here. Button's plastic. I guess that would be an all metal plastic bobbin, or uh, button. <laughs> and uh, of course, the dials on it are a little more reliable than a lot of them. A lot of the machines come in, uh, maybe they're a brother, maybe they're a singer, maybe they're this and that. And I'm reluctant to turn the dials because uh, sometimes inside the mechanism will snap off because it's all plastic. This is nylon on the inside. Uh, of just the non-stress decorative gears in here and followers. It has uh, an absolutely wonderful 15-class system down underneath. It's 15-class bobbin, 15-class hook. Of course, they're metal, they're chrome-plated, and this is real important because a lot of them nowadays are not. And it's very easy to clear. It's very easy to uh, service. You know, if you've got a burr on hook, you can pop it out, sharpen it, put it back in. I have a video on how to do that. Uh, Behind here is a two-gear drive system. It's inside of a gearbox back there, and I took it apart to check and see. One gear is metal, one gear is nylon. I prefer they both be metal because that would make it an all-metal construction, just being consistent. But it's not metal, it's nylon. It's not bad because it's been around for a long time. Uh, Kenmore has been using it in the same platform. A lot of people use it in the same platform. As long as you don't try to sew on something ridiculous like some people try to do, It'll, it'll, it'll service very well. They don't break very often. They're good little setups. So it's got the nylon gear driving a metal hook drive gear. Not a problem for me. Nothing to take it out of contention for a referral for me. And this customer who sent this to me for uh, service has been sewing some heavy stuff because her needle plate was chingered up pretty good. Hook was chingered up pretty good. The presser foot itself was banged up on the back with a needle been banging into it. And when you saw on heavy stuff, that needle... That needle whips around. It, it, it finds things to hit, and it'll scratch them up, scratch them up big time. Of course, I put all these parts on a jeweler's wheel, polished them out very nice and smooth, got everything back to specification, which is good because you can do that to a metal part that's heavily chrome. Up in this area up here, it's got the lay-in threading, which you can see where everything goes. You don't have to worry about guessing at it, which is nice. I'm not the biggest fan of lay-in threading, but that's where we are now because nothing's allowed to stick out of the machine or else it'll break off in transit. So everything's recessed, and you can see where everything goes in here, which is nice. does not have an adjustable pressure on top. I like to see that, but that's why people get roller foot and walking feet and stuff like that to compensate for that. The beauty of this one is inside here. It's got a standard analog needle bar. Uh, apparatus that swings left and right, driven by a cam. It doesn't have a uh, control module over here with a servo motor that makes it swing back and forth. Those are very dainty, very delicate. I don't prefer those. I prefer this analog, so that's good. This is good down here. That's good. Uh, up in the top, again, and the stuff I'm not crazy about, and that would be everything that's not black. Oh my gosh, it's white. And what is that? It's nylon. Of course, that's the all-metal nylon you've heard so much about. I'm being sarcastic because there is no such thing as all-metal nylon. So they say it's all-metal construction. They're, they're leaving out the parts that are not all-metal. This is plastic. The frame is aluminum, which is nice, and that's important. It's got a steel drive shaft, which is important. And uh, this in here is non-stress, so it doesn't have to worry about being uh, uh, steel. Back in the days, they were steel and cast and aluminum, but that was back when... Uh, 
people worked in machine shops that made things, you know, with machine tools, etc. Now back here on the back, you see it has spool pens. They're plastic, both plastic. They're going to break. All you have to do is lean it over against something and they'll snap off. So keep that in mind. That's those new, you probably heard about them, the uh, all metal plastic bobbin uh, or spool holders. They, they seem like they're going to snap if you just barely give them too much torque. So be careful with that. What I do like, again, over here on the side is the standard release. This has been around since the turn of the 18th century. So that's how you wind the bobbin. Pretty standard, but standard bob wind ring on top. So that's, that's good. The motor you hear running down underneath is a fractional horsepower motor, one amp. And it's a standard motor that has been in sewing machines since the beginning of time, just about uh, 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, all the way through. Very standard motor. It doesn't have a the tab for replaceable motor brushes, which would be a, a nice feature, but that makes them a little more expensive. But it's a good solid motor. And it has a lot of torque, and I like it. So, you got a lot of features on here. You got straight stitch, you got zigzag, you got a built in uh, four step button holder, one, two, three, four, which is my favorite kind. You got your overlocks, you got your stretch, three step zigzag, regular zigzag, uh, hem uh, stitch both directions. Uh, it's a nice little machine. I'm going to give it a thumbs up, not a two thumbs up, because it doesn't have, you know, they, they're doing this all metal construction, which exactly not. So, when you're reading these ads, take it all with a grain of salt because that's called marketing. And no one calls them on it, so they get away with it. So just uh, as, as my people uh, want to be straight with you, so you know that all these machines have their limitations. And all you'll do is find that limitation and try to exceed it. That's what people do. You know, if they say it's heavy duty, let's see if we can make a saddle, maybe uh, some uh, leather uh, straps for my team of mules. You know, whatever you guys do. But... Just be uh, cognizant of this is a nice machine. I would recommend this machine. Uh, I would tell you to go out and buy it. I think they're running between three and four hundred dollars online. Uh, I would recommend it, and uh, it, it'll it'll get the job done. Shirts and jammies and blouses and pillowcases and probably all the sewing you need to do with quilting stuff like that. It's gonna be a nice little machine for you. I'd recommend that you get it. And uh, if you uh, want a good reliable machine, I believe this would be it. And of course. Everything I've told you up to this point for the last 7 minutes and 36 seconds was my opinion. So, you can't sue me for having opinions, I don't think. <laughs> we'll see. But anyhow, here's the Janome HD 1000 BE. Recommend. Thumbs up.